In this video, we're going to be solving some trick equations. So I've got two examples for you. Um, hopefully they help you kind of get an idea about how to go about solving these questions so you can, um, so they can help you do more practice. Right. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so we have this equation here, 2 sine of x equals 1 on this domain. So the first thing I always like to do with these questions is to just go ahead and just start by solving on 0 to 2 pi. Right? Just start by solving on 0 to 2 pi. Right? We're going to ignore the domain altogether for now and just start with something that we know. Right? And this, if you recall, is pretty much a rote memorization of the unit circle. Right? So we're going to need to rely on our knowledge from the unit circle to solve this for us. Okay? So here's how we do that. So if we divide both sides by 2, we're going to get sine of x equals 1 half. What angles x satisfy this equation? Well, we'll have x is equal to, um, we have pi over 6, and we have 5 pi over 6. We're only considering the first two quadrants because sine of x is negative in quadrants 3 and 4, if that helps. Right? All right, so that's our first step. Now is where we have to start considering the domain, right? Because in this domain, there are more solutions there that we might need to find because sine of x oscillates. Right? So to do that, here's what we do. To do that, what we're going to do is we're going to say, we're just going to add plus or minus 2 pi to each solution until we cross the domain. Okay, So we're going to take each of our solutions here and we're just going to add plus or minus 2 pi until we cross it, until we cross this domain here. Right? So we want to catch all those extra solutions that we might have. Okay? So let's go ahead and, uh, and do that. So we start with um, so let's start with pi over 6. Okay. If we add 2 pi to that, remember 2 pi is the same thing as 12 pi over 6. So that's going to give us 13 pi over 6. Okay. Is that within our domain? Yes, it is. So we're good with that one. So we can try adding another 2 pi to that. Right? So we can, try, we can say 13 pi over 6 plus 2 pi, it's 12 pi over 6, that's going to give us uh, 25 pi over 6. That's unfortunately beyond our domain, right? because we're, we can only go up to 3 pi, that's around uh, a little bit over 4 pi, so unfortunately that we just don't, uh, we just ignore that. So that tells us that 13 pi over 6 is the last solution we have in that direction. All right, so but we can try subtracting 2 pi, right? We can't add, it doesn't make sense to add 2 pi anymore, but we can try subtracting. Right? So we can do pi over 6 minus 2 pi, right? And if we do that, we'll get uh, pi over 6 minus, minus um, 12 pi over 6. So that's going to be minus 11 pi over 6. Is that within our, is that within our domain? Fortunately not, because we can only go up to negative pi, and that's a little bit more than 1 times pi, right? So unfortunately, that one is not in our domain anymore. Now let's move on to the next solution. Right? So the next solution is going to be 5 pi over 6, right? Let's add 2 pi to that. If we add 2 pi, we're going to get, um, once again, 12 pi over 6. That will give us 17 pi over 6, right? Is that in our domain? You bet it is, right? Because 17 is not quite, uh, 17 pi over 6 is not quite 3 pi. However, it doesn't really make sense for us to add 2 pi again, right? Because if you think about it, when we'd had 13 pi over 6 and added 2 pi, it already took us beyond our domain. 17 pi over 6 is much greater than 13, than, than, uh, 13 pi over 6, so it doesn't really make sense to add 2 pi again, so we can just stop there. However, we can subtract, right? So if we do 5 pi over 6 minus 2 pi, right? Once again, 12 pi over 6, that'll give us uh, minus 7 pi over 6. Yeah. That's almost there, but unfortunately, it's just a little bit beyond our domain. So unfortunately, we can't consider that one either. 
Okay? So our final answers are just going to be, so our final solutions will have x equals we have pi over 6, 5 pi over 6, and also these two other solutions we found here will have 13 pi over 6 and 17 pi over 6. Cool. All right, one more example here. So in this one, there is one little nuance I want you to pay attention to, and that is that um, this instead of just an x here, we have a 4x here. Right? So here's what I'm going to do to deal with that. I'm going to just say, I'm just going to make this substitution here, that is u equals 4x. Right? I'm just going to make a substitution, u equals 4x. Now given this, I can also rewrite my domain in terms of u. Right? So where x went from negative pi to pi, u will go from negative 4 pi. to 4 pi, right? Just making a substitution and rewriting my domain in terms of u, okay? Rest of the process, pretty much exactly the same, right? So we're still gonna start by solving on 0 to 2 pi. And we're gonna start by solving on 0 to 2 pi. And for that, we can add the one over to that side, divide by two. So we'll be left with cosine of not 4x, but u, right, is equal to 1 half. And if we want to find values of u that satisfy that, we will have pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3. Okay. Awesome. And now we can go on to our next step, which is just going to be, we're going to do plus or minus 2 pi until we cross our domain and now bear in mind now we're not using this we're not using this x domain here we are using this u domain here and we're using this u domain to um to determine to work with this particular step here okay. just bear that in mind so now we can go ahead and choose this step and continue here so we will have we can start with pi over three if we add two pi that's like adding 6 pi over 3, so that's going to be 7 pi over 3. Is that in our domain? It is. 7 pi over 3 is not quite 4 pi. Next thing we can do is we can add another, we can add another 2 pi. So we can do 7 pi over 3 plus 2 pi. 6 pi over 3, that's going to be 13 pi over 3. Fortunately, that's a little bit beyond our domain. Right? Because remember, 4 pi is equivalent to 12 pi over 3. 13 pi over 3 just crosses over that, so that's unfortunately outside our domain. Uh, but now we can still try subtracting um, pi over 3 from. We can, just, we can still try subtracting 2 pi from pi over 3. So we have pi over 3 minus 2 pi. Right? Minus 2 pi. So that's going to give us. Um, so that would, that would give us. Let's see, uh, we would have minus 5 pi over 3. Is that in our domain? It is. So we're good there. We could try subtracting again at this point. So we could do minus 5 pi 3 minus 2 pi. What we'll get is uh, oops, we'll get um, negative 11 pi over 3. Which, is, which also works, right? Because remember, 4 pi is uh, 12 pi over 3, so this is fine. But notice we're also really close to negative, to negative 4 pi now, right? So it doesn't really make sense to subtract 2 pi again, so we can just stop there. And that's it for uh, pi over 3. Next thing we can work with is now going to be two pi, 5 pi over 3. Right? So now we can go 5 pi over 3 plus 2 pi. That will give us 11 pi over 3. Right? which is indeed inside our domain. But once again here, we're at 11 pi over 3. 4 pi is 12 pi over 3, so it doesn't make sense to add another 2 pi because we know it's going to be above, so we can just stop here. But now let's try subtracting 2, two pi. Right? So we can go 5 pi over 3 
minus 2 pi. Right? And if we do that, then what we'll be left with is we'll have 5 pi over 3 minus 6 pi over 3 is just going to be minus pi over 3, which is also very much within our domain. And uh, we're running a little bit out of space here, but we can still make it work. And then we can go with, um, we can take negative pi over 3, subtract 2 pi. It's going to be analogous to what we had here. And that's going to be, oops, it's going to be minus 7 pi over 3. And that is in our domain. But like we saw up here, right, if we subtract another 2 pi, we're going to go to 13 pi over 3, which is outside our domain. So we can stop there. Right? So all of these are going to be solutions to our equation. We have a whole bunch of them. Right? All of these are going to be solutions. However, there's one final step, right, is that all of these are solutions to u equals all of this, equals if to cosine of u equals 1 half. But remember, all of this is also equal to 4x, right? All of these things are equal to 4x, right? So to solve for x, we need to divide everything by 4, right? And that's going to be the final uh, solution here. We're going to have x is equal to, we have 12, 5 pi over 12, We'll have 7 pi over 12, 11 pi over 12, just basically dividing everything by 4. So we'll have um, negative 5 pi over 12, negative 11 pi over 12, and negative 7 pi over 12, and uh, negative pi over 12. They're not in order, but those are our, our, your solutions. And that's how we solve this question, right? So again, the key, the key difference between this one and the previous one is this first step here where we make that substitution and then at the end here where we plug back in, right? So yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, I hope this was helpful. If you found this video helpful, please do like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, and check out some other videos. See you next time.